We hope this is the right way. I sure hope it is. <laughs> there was only one sign at the uh, mm -hmm. at the turnoff, and then the road split. I'm we following no the map though. It is back here. It's uh, pretty. Yeah, it's definitely uh, Arkansas. We do like Arkansas a lot. Yeah, it's a beautiful state. It's very hilly and lots of trees. Look and at all the old junk cars over here. There's a bunch of them out there. Hmm. I can see them all down in the woods. So um, we don't really know the reason why, but this place does not allow pets. Yep. So I don't know Yep, and why. they tell you that on the phone whenever you call. <laughs> that she's like, do you have any pets? And I said, nope. nope. <laughs> Just my wife. So I'll have to figure out the reason why. What? Uh, <laughs> There's not any place to turn around right here, so hopefully this no. is and right. If, and if somebody else is coming through with a yeah with a rig, it's going to be a tight fit. Yeah. Okay. We thought we saw a sign, so we might be almost there. Yeah, I think it. I think it's a turn. <laughs> hopefully, we don't get a murdery vibe from this place. <laughs> no pets, ATVs, or firearms. <laughs> it's very specific. No ATVs beyond this point. All right. All right, so. We still got. At least we saw a sign. Yeah, at least we know we're going the right way. It was one of those mini horses right there. Oh, hi, cute horse. I can't get it. Still not there. Yeah, I kind of thought we were going to be there. No, nope, still not there. An hour later. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there it is. Is it? Look how pretty it looks. It does look pretty. Riverside Resort Camp and Canoe. This is it. Okay, there's no signal here for the train. Yep. So, so you got to stop, look, and listen. I don't see anything this way. Wow, this looks like really cute. It does look nice, and there's not really anybody down there. No. All right, get us a good spot, babe. I'm going to try to. Seriously, check out how pretty this place is. So I think they do a lot of uh, float and canoe yeah. uh, trips here. And uh, she said that it's, you know, real popular in the summer. What is that? Look at that. What is that? <laughs> I'm not sure what it it's is. It's like a... Fat. Here, stick. I don't know. It's like a groundhog. It looks like a gopher, a gopher or a groundhog. A big I'm not one. sure. It's behind that table. Yep. Look at how cute you are. Well, going up into the woods. Well, maybe that's why they don't allow pets. No, I asked her about pets. <laughs> oh, what she said. They've had a history of people um, tying their pets up at trees while they go floating, oh. or tying them up in their, leave them in their cars. Uh, so she said that they just don't do pets anymore. I don't blame them. All right, so that's the creek there that I remember seeing on the map. Okay. It runs behind these sites, and we're going to be over here. All right. It looks like we got the place to ourselves. Yeah, it does. There's a boat launch here, too. This one may be 20. Yeah, because, yep, it There's, sure is. Where do you see 20? It's right behind that tree. Oh, okay. All right. Great. Look, right. it is right on the river. Oh, oh we're right by the uh, boat launch. Babe, too. you did good. This is really cool. This Yay. is the kind of stuff that we want to experience when we get to. I wasn't sure on the way down, but you did great. All right. Here's our site. It's so cute. These nice trees. The water's right there. I think I've said this before, but I never, ever have to help him. He always just nails it. What a beautiful place. We got the Kodiak all set up here at the Riverside spot. Man, this place is beautiful. It's great. You are, yes, you are muted. You are muted. Hit it one more time. There you go. People probably don't want to hear my voice all the time. Oh, they but... love hearing you. Ugh. I'm going to show them the site right here. So the only thing we had to do, this was a pretty unlevel site right here, but that's why we have the uh, leveling wedges. Let me show, show you this for anybody that hasn't seen these yet right here. So we got these leveling wedges. You can see I'm pretty well maxed out on them. 
we were still two inches low on this side, but since we're only set up here for uh, basically one night, really, seriously, uh, being off a little bit isn't bad at all. Plus, what I do whenever it's still low on this side, I have Abby go ahead and put the slide out and it usually shifts at about one inch. And then you do the uh, stabilizer jacks from there. But see, all these sites are open and she had told me, she goes, if you want one of the sites, just let her know. But we like this one because it's right next to the, uh, the boat launch in the river. And since it's uh, Tuesday, isn't today Tuesday? I have no idea. I think it's Tuesday. It's not gonna be busy. So this is really cool. Really pretty here. They got the barbecue pit here if you want to use it. You got a fire ring. And look, river view. The spring fed river. Let's come down here and check it out. We already saw some uh, rafters go by just a minute ago when we were setting up. This is awesome. This is really cool, isn't yeah. it? Another beautiful. great, beautiful Arkansas spot. God, yeah. these people, they know how to do it. Everywhere we've been in Arkansas has been it's beautiful It's gorgeous, so far. I know. You see how pretty it is up there on our site. This and, is great. I mean, I love to see a place that actually utilizes what they have in a really great way. I right, because we've been to a couple that did that not. Didn't. They no. didn't. They had a river and they didn't. I got a feeling. That was when we were at Cotopaxi. We were really disappointed it's cold. in that, that location. Feels good. This is pretty though. Look at that, man. So they got a really nice bathhouse up there. This place is fully set up for everybody to enjoy. You could come down here and spend a vacation here, you know? So there's a creek that comes out right here. I don't recall what it's called, but it's on the, I saw it on the map. I'm just gonna come over here and check this out too. Maybe it's a little low right now. There's some fish or something up in there moving around. But the creek actually, this is kind of like an island right here. The creek goes around the other side of it and dumps out over there. I can see the water moving. And then it comes around this side a little bit as well. It has that smell. Oh. The river smell. I love that smell. So now that we're set up, our, our plan is today, since we're only here for a day, we're gonna go into town, Mammoth Spring. We wanna go up to the state park. Oh yeah, it does smell like a river. It, <sighs> it brings back memories of being Me on a Scambia too. River with dad and granddad. Mine is Bennett Springs, <laughs> Missouri. It yep. definitely has that river smell to it. Yep. I love it. I do too. Brings back the memories. Yes. But we're gonna go into town and we wanna go visit the Mammoth Spring State Park. We're gonna take the camera and show you that. And then other than that, we're just going to run up to the store. We're going to grab something for dinner because we want to grill out here. Yes, we do. This is the kind of place you want to cook out here. So we're going to grab some protein and have us a little cookout. What do you this say? This is great. Let's go and do it because it's already... You're so happy, aren't you? It's 1.30, so I want to get moving. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we've had a great day up the road there at uh, Mammoth Spring State Park. We, uh, we'll probably just have a separate video for that because there was so much great stuff there that we got to uh, experience and capture on video. So we'll just have a separate video for that. So we've made it back out here to the camp at Riverside. It is just absolutely amazing. We pretty much have the entire campground to ourself. There is one other camper right over there. We saw him coming by and uh, he's not even there now. I don't know, so maybe he left, but there is nobody else out here except for the resident squirrels. We got. He's been hanging around since we got back, and I think he knows he's probably had a lot of people feed him. So he's just hanging around waiting for somebody to throw him some food, but I'm not going to be throwing him any food. We're going to be cooking some food for ourselves in a little while. We have got the uh, grill set up. I was going to show you. got my lantern going. One of the things that I realized out here is that the flies are kind of bad still right now. So everything you do, the flyers are, are hanging around you. But we've got our little lodge cook table set up here. And I got the little Weber. And all we're gonna be doing today is some burgers and we're gonna do some fries in the convection oven. We went into town and we couldn't really decide what we wanted, but Abby's like, how about we grill some burgers? And I said, that's fine, let's do some burgers. So we are gonna cook us some burgers here, Riverside this evening. And it's really nice out here. I got my chair set up and I'm just gonna sit out here and uh, drink me a couple of cold beer and just look at the river and enjoy the uh, peaceful quietness out here that this place offers. It is A-bomb barbecue time. So we've got some uh, crinkle fries in the air fryer here, just started those. Super easy way to cook a side dish right there. And then we got Abby out here chilling. Been out here chilling with her. And we got the little Weber Cooking up 
some barbecue burger patties. Smelling good, isn't it? The other camper, the guy that's up there, he's down there catching fish. And he came down here probably about an hour ago. He came down here and set up in the water and uh, cleaned some fish. So maybe he went fishing somewhere else earlier today. But uh, <laughs> he's got it going on. Let's give him a flip. Yep. Burgers are looking good, just about ready. I'm gonna top them with some cheese. And that'll be about it. Just got a few more minutes on these guys. It's been so nice out here, cooking some burgers next to the river. No noise other than mother nature, like the birds up in the trees. Go ahead and add some cheese to these burgers. way Abby likes it. Thank you, babe. Double cheese. Only way to do it. Cross diamond pattern. Just like that. They smell like heaven. Smells good. Beast cooking over charcoal. All right, our Riverside dinner is ready. There's our fries. Here's our buns, look at that, right there. And then we've got our burgers. Looks good. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I am ready to chow down. We are gonna have our meal, guys. It is so wonderful to be out here next to a river yes. with the peace and quiet. There's no sirens. There's no, There's sirens. no sirens, there is nothing. No. It is just peacefulness. You can't beat this. You can't beat it. Um, let's see. You can try, but it's not going to happen. I got that one. Nope. Oh, you got me about mm -hmm. uh, eight, quarter inch, maybe. So what you're saying is that I beat you. Yep. Got me. <laughs> she always looks for the biggest fry. <laughs> By the way, the um, fries are delicious. They're great. The air fryer. Ah. I cooked them at 360 degrees for 20 minutes. They're nice and crispy, mm -hmm. just like they've been fried, except they have no grease on them at all. Nope. And the burgers, <clears throat> man, they came out good. They're perfect. The only issue we have are the flies, man. They, the flies are bad yep. out here. They are flying everywhere. I don't like it. So they're running rampant here. That's the only, that's the only complaint we got, flies, but Agreed. not much you can do about it.
it's morning time out here on the Spring River. I've got my coffee, I got my chair, we got the beautiful river there behind us. It's got a fog over it this morning. We saw that coming in last night, by the way. The, um, the fog covering the, the, rib, the riverbed here. But it's a beautiful morning. Birds are already out here flying. So I'm gonna sit out here and uh, drink my coffee. Enjoy the morning. We'll probably cook a little bit of breakfast here shortly. Probably just some bacon and eggs and then start packing up. From, uh, from here, we are headed a little bit further northwest and we're gonna be headed up towards the uh, Springfield, Missouri area. I think we got a train coming. I can hear down that direction. Well, it sounds like it's probably a train. We've actually had several trains come through here since we've been here. So they come pretty regularly. I didn't hear one throughout the night, but uh, yesterday and yesterday evening, we had quite a few. I wish I knew when one was coming by, I'd go up there and, and uh, set up next to the tracks and watch the train come by. That would be really fun. So we believe just down the river from us, there's rapids down there because you can hear them. You just can't see them. So they got these trash cans everywhere for people to use and I was afraid this would happen. We had some critters come out here in the middle of the night and go through the trash can by us. So I'll come over here and pick all that up here shortly, get all that back in the can. We got the bacon frying in the, uh, the convection oven here, just using air fry mode. It does a really good job at cooking bacon. I just use the air fry 400 degrees for about 20 to 22 minutes. Works pretty good. And we got another train coming through, so it's been about a half hour since the last. I don't know what their schedule is, but right now it's about every half hour. And they are headed from the, from the south and going north. Well, we're just going to enjoy a little breakfast here. This does not suck. Riverside, of course. And after this, we're going to pack up and roll on out of here. Mm -hmm. Our uh, air fried bacon always turns mm. out so good. Abby loves it. I think it's her favorite. Mm -hmm. I think it's even better than cooking it on the flat iron it or in the is, skillet. because it's so crispy. That's my favorite. The ends just are. Mm-hmm. Yep. The ends get really nice and crispy there. So I would like to just point out really fast that there is nobody else here and it is glorious. It is nice, isn't it? Glorious. Just the one other camper's there, but they got up and left earlier. They're going fishing. They probably are. Probably yeah. going fishing today. Yep. This has been a beautiful spot. The sun is getting ready to uh, come up over these trees here pretty soon. I can see it out there on the river. This has been a great spot. I think this would be even more enjoyable in the cooler months. Agreed. Because the one thing that we did find that we didn't like here was there's a lot of flies and a lot there of is. insects, a lot of flying insects there at is. night. So we came out here last night. We were testing out our new LED headlamps as well. They as soon great. As, and as soon as you turn them on, <laughs> all the, the flying <laughs> bugs. were bugs. hitting me in the face, which is not great. Yeah. But that's what you deal with when you come out to uh, campgrounds like this, you yes. know, out here in nature. But I just think it would probably be a little more enjoyable in the winter months for us personally. Agreed. The summertime is great to come out here and go rafting and tubing or no canoeing. Doubt. I mean, this place is gorgeous and the setup is fantastic. Yep. And I was nervous coming down here. I wasn't sure how it was going to be, but beautiful. She loves it. I do. I kind of sad to leave, to be honest. Well, we've got a lot of great places in store for us. So we're about to hit the road. Antiques today. Antiques today. We are we are hitting antiques today. Some so we are headed. We're going to be headed into Ozark, Missouri, which is 
I think it's just a suburb of uh, Springfield is what it is. But we're going to head into uh, Ozark. There's a bunch of antique places there that we're going to go. We've never been before. And then into Springfield, that's where we're going to be stay uh, staying there for the next couple of nights. Did you know that I went to school in Springfield? I did not. College. Fun fact. You Fun didn't tell fact. me that. I was in a sorority there. Very cool. I know you went over to California to go to school. I also went to California, yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll delve into more of that later on on another adventure. <laughs> we will see you guys later.